Click go live. It's live. Oh, it's live now? Yeah. Do I hit the thingy? It's a little behind. Where do I uh, go? Uh, where's your... Do I go back to my uh, live now? Hello? Do I go here? How do I know? Okay, yeah, here yeah. I am. Click on it. Click on this? Yeah. Uh, do I go back to my uh, it's a little behind. now? It's a little it's behind. Okay. Yeah. Do I go here? Well, should I not have that now? Okay, here I am. Turn the, turn the sound off on that. Click on this. Do I go back to my... Uh... Okay. Welcome to the very first show of What Are We Doing? So, tonight we are doing something that I have had to do with the concertina for a while now. This is my beautiful Wheatstone concertina. It is more than 50 years old. it used and I love playing it but here's the thing every once in a while the buttons which are very old and are made of plastic and metal every once in a while they break off I don't know if you can see that can you see uh, anyway I that one over uh, yeah I know so if you can see okay they break and they fall right out so this is one this is what they're supposed to look like. As you, if you can see, you might not be able to see, but there's a, a closed, there's a, a circle. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Okay, so here's what the buttons need to look like. There it is, there it is. See, see how it's got a nice little hole in there? And this is what happens to the old buttons. It breaks. Uh, so you can see it's not a it's no longer a so it broke off the plastic part broke off that perfectly makes sense through use and also age and plastic gets old and brittle and then what happened was the buttons fell out so here is where the buttons need to be as you can see i've got these nice buttons right here but then i've got this gap because i lost two buttons so now a note about this, I spent a lot of time talking to various people who repair concertinas and I even got in touch with the actual Wheatstone company which is in the UK and um, it was going to involve a lot of shipping and a lot of, uh, you know, shipping a button and shipping it back and all this other stuff and then Glenn said, hey, I have this 3D printer. Maybe I can make some buttons for you. So he did that for me about a year ago. And that is why I have these buttons right here, these three, and this one, which is a very important button. That's the button for, I, I, it's like a breath, it's just air. Because when you play a concertina, you don't ever want to pull or push without having some button pressed down because otherwise you're going to damage the, uh, the bellows. So, so Glenn made some buttons for me. He rocks really hard. And, and then he replaced them. And uh, first step is I need to unscrew this. And in the meantime, what? I need to get something. 
You need to get something. Can I do the thing? Yes. Sir. Okay, I can still do the thing. All right, so I should have opened this ahead of time. Oh, and I have this other concertina here. Yes, I do. And this other concertina has a different problem. It looks like the button's missing, but actually what happened was this button stuck down here, and the other button, I pressed on it, and it got stuck, and then it actually went under this, this uh, I don't know if you want to call it a faceplate. I'm sure there's a technical term for it. So what we are doing is fixing my concertinas, hopefully. Um, where, are you going to do this or am I? It's up to you. Uh, okay. So do we, have, do we have an extra screwdriver maybe or no? I think one at a time is fine. So, oh, well, I was just thinking we could do both of them. So what I'm doing right now is I'm unscrewing. <laughs> I'm unscrewing these things and they're really long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to unscrew these. So we got a comment from, yep, there's Kirk. Yep. Okay, we're getting Hi, Kirk. Sorry. And uh, so eventually, after I take these long screws out of here, and they are long, this whole plate will come off. I think you have to take this out too. Yeah? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It's been a little while. It's been a minute. A few years. Has it been a couple of years? Oh, yeah. Well, I have... At least... The, the buttons that you made, the replacement buttons on the other side, have held up very nicely. And so I first got my 3D printer. Yeah, tell them on, about the 3D printer. On inauguration day for Who? the most recent... Oh, um, that call guy? It, 45. Voldemort? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that, when you, is that really when you got it? Well, that was when I first used it. Wait, Dave, wait, wait Dave, I thought it was you had you, another you, one. No, that was my first. Well, I built one which was unsuccessful. Which right. I still have. I should probably try I to I just fix. feel like you've, you've been. Okay. I have a CNC. Which yes. Is Mr. I have all the. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Some of the laminate came off. Mm -hmm. This is an old, old instrument. Still sounds good. So, it doesn't have to look perfect. So that would have been the year. Wonderful. That would have been the year that I printed the first set of buttons. In 2016. When I, when I first got well. One of the few good things that happened that year <laughs> was I got. Because when you went down on the uh, Women's Day march, that's right. Was when Mr. Right. Beerling and his daughter came over. Our buddies, M. T. Graymail. I spent the day learning how to use three. Right. Our buddy, great M. T. Graymail on Facebook. Okay, so these are all off, and then this. No, I think nope, have still to have to do. Else. Okay, so I have this thing. It's for putting my thumb in there. No, it's not. It's for putting my pinky in. Put my pinky in here to help support the instrument, and my thumb goes in the strap. So this pinky holder thing has to come off as well. Um, and I would love Maybe to work with this one too while yeah. you're doing that, but that's okay. So I have had this instrument. I've had this one was my first. This was my starter concertina. It is called a Bastari. It was made in Italy. This one I bought used. Um, and uh, uh, it's from the Wheatstone Company, which is in the UK. So this one is a lot more expensive than this one. But, you know, that's what I've done with a lot of my instruments I've done. Uh, you know, I get a starter version because I'm like, I'm just learning it. Let's see how we do. And then if I really like it and I want to continue, then I get, you know, I sort of upgrade. That too? I think there's some screws under here that have to come out. Okay. You sure? No, I'm not. That's the problem. Yeah, that one definitely has to come out. See, I we would have done the unscrewing first, but I wanted everyone to be able to see what we're doing. Okay, so that's a different screw. Yeah, we have our we have to keep our screws organized. You know, this is getting a lot more blue than I was expecting. You know, it's just oh, a oh come on. <laughs> You? Yeah, no, seriously, I thought this was going to be a straightforward repl uh, uh, repair and it was not going to be a big deal. Okay. It's too short. Huh? To be holding anything. I think. Uh, that's what I thought. So now we have the problem where we're trying to get the faceplate off and we're trying to figure out how many more fasteners we need to unfasten before this thing comes off. 
something yeah. holding us over here. Now, by the way, there are resources online um, for repairing Which I think we looked things. at last time, YouTube. Was. We did? Yeah. But that was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. There's also books. Um, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you got Okay. But you see, we already did this once, so we figured we didn't have to refer to those things again. Okay, so here I want to show you. This is the great unveiling. This is the faceplate. Comes right off here, okay? Comes right off here. How's that for nightmare fuel? Oh, my God! What the heck is that? So this is where all the buttons go. It is truly scary. It looks like a... Yeah, it looks like a nightmare. So, but now that I'm looking at it, see, I didn't fix the other buttons. This guy did. But now I'm looking at it, it does seem somewhat straightforward. Um, so, and these are the ones that Glenn replaced. You can see they're, they're not like the other ones. The original ones have the uh, Some of these metal buttons on them. Are not like the other yep, one. Buttons. So, so I don't know how well you can see this. But it looks fairly straightforward. So we've got. So we've got. Um, this is being. This is bare because it's missing the uh, the button. This one right, right here, and this one right here. They're right next to each other, so that's got it convenient. So you see that? That's where the buttons were missing. So. And I just realized. Didn't we want some felt or something? Uh, there should some be felt? some felt there. Yeah, uh, no, I meant there's like a piece of, well, this is a piece of felt that just is sort of hanging out. There's a piece of felt just hanging out here. You think it was left? Maybe. Um, okay. Let me see. It's right, right there. Right there. But there's also, I'll be, I'll be right back. Hello. Grab some tweezers or something. pair of scissors. Do -do -do. I have some felt. I have some tweezers because we okay. need to cushion our button with a piece of felt. Small piece of felt. So here it is right there. Yeah, you can see where we did these before. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying they look a little clumsy? A little different. A little different? Some of these are not like the others. Yeah. Well, you need to show what you're doing. Oh, sorry. Can you show them? Um, so I'm trying to shove a little piece of felt in this hole. In the hole? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if you look really closely, I don't know if it shows up, but there's the hole, right? And then there's, it's, it's black, and that's because there's a piece of felt in there. No one knows why. Oh, it just, just it, keeps it, it, it keeps it from rattling. Oh, okay. It's the anti-rattle. So while fold. he's doing that, so then, can you, can, uh... Okay. Where's the screwdriver? Because while you're doing that, I'm going to mess with this one. And it's the same thing, I'm just going to unscrew, or I'm going to loosen these nuts screws, whatever we're calling them today. Woo! Yeah, keep them separate. Yep. And this is going to be different because I'm going to be looking at buttons that are not in place. They're not necessarily broken, they're just sort of... And I would they're like to find out... Feel. Yeah. They've, gone off They've on their lost own. their way. They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. They feel fine. They've gone for a walk. That's what. Yep. Hey, hey, no growling, dogs. Hey, Pip. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. So we have two dogs now. 
pet. Pet. Hey, cut it out. Don't be a brat. Don't be a brat. No brat. No brat. No. Pip, you're very no. cute, but you're being a brat. Stop it. Hey. It's gonna be half the show is gonna be me yelling at Pip. Yeah. To knock it off. See, Pip is under the table because she's decided that's her space. Meanwhile, poor Colby suffers from, he's codependent, completely dependent on Glenn, and suffers from uh, FOMO. Okay, Pip is not under the table. Pip is helping. Oh, is she? Yes. Can you see? Pip, can you? <laughs> supervising. Pip, you have to focus. If you're going to supervise, you have she to focus. She probably wants to go out. Well, she can go out. Pip. Okay. So some of these little washer thingies are, some of them are staying and some of them are, are going. It's interesting. Will they stay or will they go? Da -na 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 -na. Uh oh, I don't like eight. that. I don't like that sound, that word. Uh, what? Some of the other men are falling over. What? Oh, yeah, that happens. They're all just precariously balanced. They can't be glued. You see, the problem is they have to be <laughs> they have to erect. Be they have to be erect. <laughs> but they also can't be, they can't be fastened down. They can't be nailed to the perch because then they won't move. They need to be able to move. So it's, uh, they need to be mobile and yet yes, standing know, up and proudly. Oh, oh look, a park. You need, if you want to say hi, you need to just crouch down because all I can see is your, look, yep, there. Hi. Look. A oh, tooth. it's like a tooth. Hi. Yes, a tooth. it's like a tooth. Hi. Give it to the tooth fairy. Put it on your pillow. Maybe we'll get $10. Where's the other one? Huh? Oh, what other one? Oh. Two wanderers. Yeah, that okay. really looks like a tooth. It really does. Okay, so now, wait. Oh, that's right. I have to. Oh, I got one more. Whoops. So the reason I'm working on this one, even though I don't play it anymore, is because I'm going to loan it to a friend. And I actually got it out in order to loan it to a friend to test it out. And then the button Let's went, bye-bye. Issues. The button said, oh, I want to go wander. Wait, I want to be here. That's right, OK. Now I know. So I've got we this We bored you all to death. Can you even hear us? Can anybody report if they can hear us? People are saying hi. How's the uh, sound? sound? How's the sound? Oh, I hope I didn't just tear or something. Yeah. Well, it's starting to come off here. Is there something? Is there something here that's nope? Okay. Here. So this here comes the top of this off. And this looks a little different. different. Okay, that's not at all like what the other one was doing. Mm -hmm. Do I hear rattling? So, okay. That's hmm. a, each one's its own little... Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, so this is not at all like the other one. No, it is not. Well, um, hmm. Can I see it? Well, e values. We hear you. Okay. Oh, good. Thanks. Yeah, Catherine. So, okay. Okay. So the one which is missing up uh -huh. here is, the, is this part here, I think. Okay. I think. Yeah, that looks right. And then this one is stuck. So how am I supposed to look at these? I have no Do clue. I? It looks like it's nailed. This looks like okay. That's that's like a. Are, it's the, see, there's it's the not valve. at all. It's not at all like. I mean, no. and I don't see any way to break that out. Let's see. So uh, we might be out. Screw, oh, oh, screw. that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, What's okay. Going on? What's going on? So um, this is different from the other one. So I'm going to unscrew. So I'm going to unscrew this. This one came. And this will here. come out. This this part will come out. And then we'll see the inside. Very exciting. Oh, yeah. Yep. Is it going to be nightmare, night, nightmare fuel? All nightmare. the springs are going to pop, and you're going to get things in your eyes, so look out. You think so? I don't know. Make you're just, stuff all right. There you are. Dun, dun, dun. 
I did hear something creak, but... Mm. Oh no, we're gonna get a jump scare. Okay. Da -da. Now let's see what... Maybe ah! Okay, now this comes out is coming here. out. Whoa! Turn it over. Turn it over. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's okay. gonna be fun to put back together. Yeah, that's oh, gonna be oh, So these oh, are all oh. so these are all so um these are all sort of dangling. See they kinda They're dangly bits. <laughs> it's the dangly bits. Yes, you know, I'm, I'm trying to do something serious here. Yes, so it could simply be a matter <laughs> of lining these back up again in such a way. And that's going to be really fun because that's going to be like you know what it's going to be like it's going to be and nothing totally seems fun. nothing appears to be broken totally fun so nothing appears totally to be fun. broken here it's just all and it all kind of does this shake so shake, shake, shake. Ooh, what's this washer from or is that from that's the, from okay, the, okay, outside the outside of yeah I so I guess the thing for me to do is to just sort of put this back together. Oh, that's going to be fun with the with them straight somehow. What'd you do? So oh, the no, black no, one no. is the um, the one one of them is black because it is. Wait, can you see that? Yeah, one of them is black because it is the. Um, remember how I was mentioning that when you play a concertina, you don't want to be squeezing it wait, wait, wait. or pulling on it without having at least one button down because that way. You're gonna if you do that you're gonna damage the bellows. So uh, this one that's by itself and the one that's by itself on the other one, all they do is they uh, they 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 press down but they don't cause a noise. So instead it, it sounds like your breath. It sounds like a breath. They can so, see us, right? So you see that's is that a replacement that you just put in? No, no, they're no? they're over here. But no, the um the white one is the the breath one. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to try to put this back so that all the buttons, <laughs> all the buttons are lined up. That's going to be interesting. Let me, let me, let me, let me okay. Can I help you at all? I don't know, honey. I don't know. That's going to be just an interesting sort of like this weird... Okay. Got my... Mm. Hmm. How do you do that? Because they're not fixed. The whole point is they're supposed to be able to move, so they don't. So they're they're all, not fixed. They're they, that's attached. why they're dangly. So what got, if I hold this and uh, okay, hold it. It's just fell out. It did. It's what? Okay. That's okay. No, that's it's just wa that's washers. That's okay. So <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Um, we'll we'll figure it out. And you know we have lots of time to figure this out. Yeah, so. we can be here all night. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> We don't go away. You have school in the morning, doesn't that? I'll go to bed. You guys can stay up all night. Sure. So I've started to get this, but um, wow, this is really interesting. I have an idea. Yeah. What's yep. your idea? The idea is probably not going to work. Oh, good. Take the tweezers, mm -hmm. and maybe we can line them up into the holes. Well, but then where the tweezers go is the thing. Then See what I'm, so what I'm saying? So what I'm doing is okay. You know what? Here, here's my phone. Can you hold the phone with the flashlight so I can see in there a little bit better? Yep, I can hold it. Okay, so put it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. So put that there. It looks really weird on the screen. Doesn't it? Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> looks like some kind of. Lasers We've gone into the shadow realm. So I think I'm just gonna keep trying to line these up. Mm. They're almost all lined up. Yeah, it's just except the one way. again. The one again. Why? Okay. Now, and I can't remember which one was the one that wouldn't that disappeared. Welcome to the shadow realm, everybody. You know what? Before we do anything else, I'm gonna check all these and make sure they're all. Oh, hold on, hold on. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So What's this up? one. Okay. So if you see. Turn that off. Okay, you see how these are all sort of lined up. They're all sort of lined up so they're lying down except for this one right there. See how that's not lined up? So that one right there. Um, so that's probably why it fell through the hole and disappeared. So I don't know what I have to do huh, to get that to not do that.
I think I found the issue, honey. Yeah. Yeah, so which one do you think fell through? <sighs> which one disappeared? Which one doesn't look like the other ones? This which one? one looks yeah, a right. So I don't know what happened though. Is I don't know. Bent in some way. Wait, look. look, look. No, I don't know. Hmm. And I don't know if those are replaceable. No replacements. So, if you can see, a lot of them are sort of doing this, but this one right here is falling. Wait, it's falling. I, it's falling. I'm just thinking uh -huh. that maybe, okay, uh, maybe it's not because this is doing something wrong, but it could be doing because something underneath is doing it wrong, because all of these have, like, something to lean onto, but that one's having, isn't leaning onto That could simply anymore. be its position in the setup. No, 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 no. I think she has a point. Oh, well, I mean, it could be, but so, then why... Maybe something's missing. Uh, where would it be? Well, but yeah, she's right, though. Every single one of these is leaning on something. Mm -hmm. So maybe something's missing, which would be a big problem. But I don't know what's missing, because there's nothing... You know, these are, these, these are leaning on these, which are behind it, and there's not, there just isn't one behind it, because there just isn't. And this one, Wait, huh? Wait, second I'm just watching. There's one there, oh, too. Never mind. And there's one there. Yeah, that so, may just be normal. Yeah. Hmm. Could try making a replacement. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I why... I don't know how to make the replacement. That's the problem. Like, when I made these... So, I made when I made these buttons, see, I had Can I hold it these up? pieces here to work with. Yeah. I can't really and see And I could it. measure them. I know. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. So, when I made the new buttons. So I may have to look this up somewhere and find out. I mean, there are books and things. It's just that we had replaced. I thought I was going to find this somewhere, and it was going to be very straightforward. But, you know, concertinas, <laughs> bellow as instruments with buttons. No, never so, straightforward. So these, are the, these are the original parts. Right. And they go together like right. that. Right, like that. And so I had that to model model so I could model that in the 3D modeling tool. So you turn it, yeah, there's the hole. And you can see the hole. Yep. And I put the little piece of felt on the bottom. I almost want to take off the other side so I can see how the other side is, but then I'd have to put it back. And that is... Well, you can look through, but you can't see the buttons. That's what I mean. Yeah. Hmm. That is a mystery. So is my the other one done yet? Huh? 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 Uh, done? 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 Mm. So the 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 felt is only for the hole. It's not for underneath. I thought there was some. There was a little too. disc of felt from underneath, disc, but yeah. I got that off the old. Oh, you pin got it. Oh, okay. The new pin, so. Very nice. Very nice. So you have to put felt through there. Yeah, yeah. it acts as a, a vibration damper. Because this is a lot of metal, and it would oh. be all it would jangle rattly. and make all kinds of rattly noises, and that would not be good. So. The unpreferred. How many people are on here? Uh, two or three. It's all right. Is there a count somewhere? There's like six. Or maybe well, um, anybody who misses this, um, we're gonna pl I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel, which is Pirate Lady on YouTube, very straightforward. Which is also my email name, Pirate Lady, P Y R A T E L A D Y, Pirate Lady at um, just go to YouTube and look look that up. It's the same channel where I did my hand washing shanty. I wanted to add some more content to my channel because you know why not? You had not, you had like sixteen or something subscribers. Yeah. And if we do this for an hour, I think I'm gonna just give up and say you know. It's not <gasps> no, I didn't. Darn it, just the one, the one, again. The one which is not leaning on me. Yeah, yeah, I almost, I actually got them perfectly lined up. Look at that, except the one. And that's the Look one, isn't the it? the only one. Yeah. No, I refuse. Wait a minute. The one, wait, the one that, okay, let me try it's that again. The because one the one, was, yeah, the one that didn't go through. Isn't the problem one? Yeah. 
This is very weird. So this is like I'm doing some kind of weird, um, it's like, um, I don't even know how you would describe this. So I've got these dangling and I got to get them into the holes. Um, yeah. So it, there are so many jokes that you can tell. There are so many jokes, but we're not going to do that. Our daughter's here. So. Yes. Um, and the other thing that's fun is that they're not soft. <laughs> okay. Right. And I'm trying to get all of them. Oh, it's all right. Look, this is a very inexpensive instrument. Oh! Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, did I get it? <gasps> you got it! I got them all! Oh my god, I got them all! <laughs> That's awesome! Keep it down. I got them all. That's so great. So there it is. There it is. So that's all of them. I don't know how I did it. Um, so uh, with these less expensive ones, um, you can have problems with the button action. Action. And um, that's what happens with these a little bit, is, is you can have some, some, some button action can be a problem. Um, they get stuck, that kind of thing. And uh, wow, I can't believe I did that. So now what I have to do is I have to put these back in here. These little screws right oh. here. Righty tighty. My shirt is bugging out. Oh. Well, I don't know what that means. oh, I don't think I did that right. Did I do that right? No, 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 that's not right. That's not right. On the screen, it looks like my shirt's bugging out. Mm -hmm. also, Maybe it is yeah. right. Oh, your shirt, too. Okay, I didn't do a good job of keeping track of this. So I only have two screws. You know, maybe I should do. No, I can't. No, I've got three. I think I've got three. three. Wait, see. maybe it was One, only two. two little ones and... Oh, it's those. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's right. That's right. That makes more sense because this fits in here better. I can't believe I did that. That is awesome. I feel like I won a prize. Sure I won a prize! Can. Okay. Now I, I put the other screw in the wrong place. That's okay because I can get it, can't I? Can't I? Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, concertinas have lots of moving parts and they're kind of terrifying. Did you actually finish? Uh, almost. Uh, almost? Mostly? No. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, so let's check and make sure the buttons are still in their spots where they need to be. Oh my god. Brilliant. Okay. Now... Don't, yeah, I don't think you want to place it face first on the ground. Um... Let me just make sure... This is important. I need to make sure... I put this in the right orientation. As you can see, it's a geometric oh, shape. Sorry. It's a geometric shape. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I put it in the right orientation because I need the it needs to be symmetrical, right? I want to have the thumb straps in the same spot on the on the other side of the instrument. So there's my thumb strap right there. So it's lined up with that one. And that's what I want to do. And then I put this here, like this. It's just like putting a lid on a box. And it's a squeeze box. Ha ha. And now, I'm, I'm just checking the buttons to see how the action is on them. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. All right. That's good. This one's a little we want, well, that's probably the one. Yeah, some of them, okay, like I was saying, if you, I don't know if you can tell, but they're not perfectly lined up. I think that's just a matter of it being a rather inexpensively made instrument. Sometimes the, uh, you know, every, every part doesn't line up perfectly. And also with, you know, anyone who plays a wooden instrument knows what I'm talking about. The wood can swell up and the wood can also contract. So sometimes you just have those kind of problems. So now I'm going to put this, <coughs> I'm going to put these back. Some of the washers, as I'm calling them, I don't know, you might want to call it trim, I'm not really sure, but these, these little metal doohickeys right here, some of them stayed in place. Um, some of them just stayed in place where they, oh, maybe that was just the one. <laughs> and some of them fell out. So that's like a little metal doohickey around, it's probably hard to see. 
I those little things. I'm, I'm calling them washers. They seem to function kind of like washers, but they just go, they just go right here at the hole, and then we just put and the other thing. Some of the some of the screws, I just I just put it on like it's a collar. See that? And then I just go like that, and I'm going to just put it in that way. It's probably the easier way. And uh, I think I'm just going to put them all on and then start tightening them. When I, this makes me think of like um, changing a tire. You know, you're like tightening the lug nuts. And it's not the same thing because these are all sort of individual parts that, you know, they're not, they're not affecting. It's not, a, it's not a hubcap on the tire. And yes, I have changed my own tire before, done it quite a few times. Partly because I can. My father taught me how. That's a point of pride for me that I can change my own tire. But it's funny, the last time, the last time I changed my tire, one time I changed my tire and it was after dark and I had a friend with me and we were doing it and a police officer stopped and insisted on assisting us. So we were like, all right. Um, You're looking for the screwdriver? Yes, yeah, so that's okay, I can wait. And then the other time, the last time I changed my tire, my own tire, I was driving around Bethesda, popped my tire because I hit a curb, because I sometimes do that, and um, it was a hot summer day, I remember that, because I was sweating like a maniac, and I got out of my car, and I started changing the tire, and this, this older gentleman, because this was Bethesda, um, this older gentleman came out, and he didn't understand what I was doing, and I said, well, I, I'm changing my tire, and he said, well, just call the, can't you just call the police and have them do it, and I was like, what? Don't they have better things to do? Yeah. I mean, I just kind of said, no, I'm just going to... I think he literally did not like the fact that I was parked in front of his house. I think he thought that, you know, I was going to start changing my oil and it would just ruin his property values or something. You know what I mean? Just... So that was that was silly. But anyway, yeah, I was like... I should have asked him for a gin and tonic or something because, you know, he mint really... Julep. Yes. Julep. Can you give me a, a mint julep, sir? And he didn't offer to help me either. He didn't offer to call the police. <laughs> So he just was like, he couldn't believe I was changing my tire in front of his house, and he went back into his house, and I'm actually surprised he didn't call the cops himself. So I changed my own tire, and I went on my merry way. But when you, when you tighten the lug nuts on a tire, you don't just go around the circle. You go, you, you tighten this one, then you tighten the one across from it, and then you tighten this one and tighten the one across from it, and you have to sort of make almost like a star pattern. Huh? Why do you do that? Because it's if you just tighten it around, what you end up doing is, as you tighten these you start to loosen these. It's just sort of a balance thing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, you sort of tighten them across from each other. You want equal tension. Yeah, you want equal tension on the hubcap. Otherwise, you might wheel. even wheel. warp it or something. Or, I don't know. Wheel. You might warp the wheel. I don't know if I have quite that much force. I mean, it is true that when I have used a wrench to tighten or loosen lug nuts, I have jumped up and down on top of it like it's a trampoline, but mm -hmm. because I have to. All right. Well, it didn't take. Did hours. you do it? Did you do it? Oh no. Okay. You need you need the screwdriver, need the screwdriver again, screwdriver right? Back. I can't believe I got these. I really I didn't think I was gonna do it. I really didn't. And I guess the one that I thought was busted. It's not that it's busted. I guess that's just the way it's Comes made. Out. I don't know. There might be some uh, looseness in there. That's maybe kind of tolerance. Well, again, these are these are not this one in particular from from Italy is not it's not the most expensive piece of equipment and here you go. So, now this is back together. <laughs> I can't believe it and I didn't even cuss once. I don't know, man. You I don't make know. make some blue in your window though. I I couldn't help it. And I by the way, I was sheepish about it. Yeah. yeah I didn't help. Play it. Do the play test. <laughs> Sticky. Uh, some of them are just sticky, and you just have to 
You just have to be careful with them, I guess. Um, maybe not press them down with a lot of force. Try to try to be light with them, I suppose. Okay. So you now, if you want to play with it, you have to you have to hold it right. Okay, right? Okay. So you stick your thumbs in the in the things here. These these little straps here. Put your put your pinkies put your pinkies there. And if it's really heavy for you, you can rest it on the table. Okay, rest it on the table. And then you can just press buttons. And you want to press them. You want to. You don't want to go like this because then your finger gets stuck. Wow, you really make that sound nice. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! So now I have... Wait. Uh-oh. It's not working. It's still... You see that? I'm not, yeah, it's not, um... Okay, so the pad's not sealing. Well, that's a little better. Mom. There, now it's gone. Okay, well, maybe... Mom. Well, anyway, that was more successful than I thought it would be, and it hasn't even been an entire hour. So, um, let me see. Does anyone have any questions? Because I've been completely ignoring Facebook while I'm doing this. Hey, Mom. Uh, this isn't making any noise. I don't think they're called. I don't know if they're actually washers, you Chris. <laughs> oh, why? So why are washers in plumbing called washers? It's not, oh, it's not. Or no, no. Chris was like wondering why if they're if they have nothing to do with getting things clean. Chris is being very, very literal. So um, I don't think anybody has any questions. Probably just sort of going, "What the heck are you doing?" Okay. Thanks, David, for enjoying um, our... You know, actually, I didn't cuss, so that wasn't frustrating, honestly. That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. So, I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, was that fun? Yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, cool. nah. So, now this is playable again, which is great. Really happy about that, so I can loan it to my friend. And this is even more playable than it was before. <laughs> P-Y-R-A-T-E-L-A-D-Y. That's on YouTube. Just look up Pirate Lady with two Y's. And uh, we're going to try to do this every Thursday. And every Thursday, we're going to do something different. And it could be cooking something. It could be making a craft. Lizzie already has some great ideas. Um, so we're going we're gonna to be doing all kinds of stuff. And that's why it's called, what are you doing? Because, oh, and also, if you have any suggestions, I mean, do you have a suggestion? Is there something you want us to try? Uh, we can try it. Um, you know, even if we don't know what we're doing, we'll, we'll, try, to, we'll try to figure out how to do it. And uh, hopefully not cuss too much. And um, so, yeah, if you have any suggestions for things you want us to try, please just get in touch with me. You all probably know how. Um, and uh, I was also going to do something called, like, maybe Rant of the Week. <laughs> so, Rant of the Week. Um, if you have something... And, and, and when I say Rant of the Week, I mean can't be political, because everybody's ranting about politics, for good reason. But um, not political, nothing too personal, and of course, I, uh, 
reserve the right to say, no, I'm not going to rant about that. So today's rant. <sighs> I'm leaving. <laughs> today's rant. Wisely so. Eastern daylight time? Why? Why? What relevance does that, are you, <laughs> I can see what you're doing. Why? Why? I don't, I don't see the point. My own husband explained it to me because he's a computer programmer. Now, computer programmers use Eastern Daylight Time. Do you know what Eastern Daylight Time is? It is some stupid construct that someone came up with. I don't even know how to describe it anymore. How did so it go you again? you can tell the difference between the time that you're reporting as to being during daylight savings time or not during daylight savings time. So that was like an entire paragraph, just about. And as far as I'm concerned, if you need an entire paragraph to explain something like that, it, I, it's not a tool anymore. It's, 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 you know what? It's not a tool anymore. It's a burden. It's a burden! So listen, I grew up Eastern Standard Time. You would read the TV Guide. Remember that, the TV guide, when you would find out when shows were on and they were Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Standard Time? Well, they probably just said Eastern Time, Pacific Time. No, no, I remember. Well, okay. Central. So someone was like Eastern Daylight Time. And I'm like, if this has to do with Daylight Saving Time, Daylight sa Saving, Saving, not Savings, all right? If you're going to be pedantic, get it right. Daylight Saving Time. Eastern Standard Time is about a geographical region. It's about a geographical region. And it doesn't matter whether you're using daylight saving time or not. It, the geographical region does not change. What are you doing? <laughs> you're Reading staring the at the Okay, so the geographical region does not change. It is still Eastern Standard. That's what it is. And that is the, that is the Eastern Standard Hill that I will die on. <laughs> All right? And I don't care about Eastern Daylight Time because I'm not a computer programmer and it is irrelevant to me. And even my own husband, who is a computer programmer, says it's a pain in the ass. He might not have said pain in the ass because that would be unprofessional. But he, he, he was not happy about it. When I asked him about it, he kind of sighed and rolled his eyes. So that's, that's my rant for the week. If anybody has an ideas for rants, just let me know and I will say, sure, I'll rant about this or maybe I won't. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, uh, this will be on YouTube and, at some point. And uh, everybody, have a great night, have a great week, have a great weekend, even though time ceases to mean much anymore these days. And uh, thanks again for watching. Good night! Bye. Good night! Bye. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Are we all done? I think so. It's catching up. Oh, Darcy said ass. <laughs> is it, wait, is it done though? Yeah, I think. Okay.